Well, first of all, your bond to the owner guarantees payment of the obligation for subs and suppliers. So therefore, it's a guarantee that you're going to pay all the material people behind the project. The other element that sometimes people don't realize is that your subcontractor also is covered under that payment bond that guarantees that they're going to pay their subs and their suppliers. So therefore, there is a risk to you that your subcontractors may not pay. So that bond protects you there. From the performance standpoint, you're also looking at the fact that the subcontractor has a surety company that has underwritten the risk. So therefore, they feel comfortable with the fact that they can perform the project as they're supposed to. I think finally, one of the big advantages also from a bond back standpoint is your surety company from time to time will reduce your work on hand based on the fact that you have bond backs from subcontractors on the project. That can be a significant element because of the fact that sometimes when you're stretching program or if you want to bid another project that takes you up over that work program that the surety company originally wanted to give you, it's an advantage.